So I have been eating the same thing, one single food for 30 days straight. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. Today is the last day of my April 30 day challenge of eating nothing but beef. So I have been eating the same thing, one single food for 30 days straight. Today I'm going to be celebrating completing the challenge with some more beef but short ribs. So I'm having Korean style flat cut short rib and I'm going to be cooking it for the first time. I usually have it when I was a kid super seasoned with soy sauce and sugar and salt made by my mom which was actually one of my favorite meals that she would make or i would have it at korean restaurants but it's again very seasoned so today i'm going to make it 100 carnivore style 100 bella approved which means nothing but beef right no salt no pepper no sauces nothing but the beef and i'm going to give you guys a 30 day full update after 30 days how do i feel so stay tuned let's first cook the short ribs Okay, so this is what the short ribs packaging looks like. I got this at Costco, as you can see, the Kirkland logo right there. 3.87 pounds, but if I subtract the bones, it's probably just going to come down to 3 pounds of actual beef meat. And this is going to be easy for me to eat today because I'm really hungry. I've been out working out all day. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to cut this open. Oh, I should actually preheat the oven. Oh, Simba, you want to say hi? Oh, baby boy. Baby boy! Oh my god, guys. Guys, look at him! Simba, why do you get more and more handsome by the day? I just can't take it. I can't take it. I think I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna preheat the oven. So I'm gonna bake at 400 degrees. I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of videos, and the general consensus is 400 degrees. So I'm gonna um, start and it's gonna preheat, so while I preheat, I'll prepare the short ribs. So now, I'm gonna take you guys to get the rack. I'm gonna cut open this short ribs. Okay, it still smells really fresh. So it's lined with an extra plastic thing. Let's take it out. Ooh, guys, look at that. It's cut super thin. Like this, and as you can see, the bones are very small and it's just lined all throughout the whole strip very fatty i am so excited and simba is eyeing my every move right now i'm just gonna line it onto the pan this is this is what it looks like right here filled the whole entire tray and i'm gonna get another tray okay here's my second tray Line it with foil. All right, so here we have the two trays fully lined with the beef short ribs. And I'm just gonna wait until the oven is preheated to 400 degrees and I'm just gonna pop these in and I will be baking them for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna open the oven just to check on them but I will uh, actually finish off with a quick broil. And the purpose of broiling is actually so it gets that better sear, that uh, crispier char. Let's practice good habits and put this wrap back immediately into the drawer where it belongs. Close the drawer and let's clean up as we wait. Throw this away. Oh, hi, see my baba boy. Right there. Oh, and I also want you guys to meet Wagyu, which is our 
guard dog. Oh, hello, Wagyu. Are you chilling by the table? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Back. Simba, go back. Hi, baby boy. Oh, aren't you a little cutie pie? He smells the short ribs. He smells the short ribs. <laughs> also, guys, I always clean this out. My siblings always leave so much food and trash to collect in here, and it just clogs the sink. So I'm going to throw this out right now. Sorry, did, did not mean to show you the inside of our trash can. Ready, so the oven just beeped. It is ready to go. Simba's over there, getting his business done. Wagyu's right here, chilling. I'm just gonna let them chill outside, get some fresh air, and I I wanna update you guys on how I'm feeling 30 days in. Hold on. How I'm feeling now that I ate the same thing every single day, the one single food, beef, for 30 days, right? 30 days of eating nothing but beef, how do I feel? Firstly, as you saw in my progress videos week after week, I would always update you guys on how I'm feeling. My first week, I made the big mistake of eating uh, a huge slab of Japanese A5 Wagyu steak. And I ate so too much that I had a whole night of feeling sick, of feeling nauseated, of wanting to throw up, of diarrhea. It was a nightmare, but I recovered. Although it took me a couple steps back because the first five days I was, you know, on top of it, eating ground beef, eating steaks, feeling pretty good. And I had to go through three days of feeling really, really bad and sick. So after recovering that first full week, um, the second week, honestly, I was like, what the heck am I sacrificing my beloved butter and egg pudding for? Because I'm not feeling any different or better. So I still pushed through the second week, even though I was feeling zero differences. I literally felt the same as how I would feel if I ate my ground beef meals with my egg pudding meals and with my sticks of butter a day meals, you know, and I was realizing that it's probably too soon to tell. So I kept pushing forward and I kept sticking to the plan. Week three, something big happened. I realized that I digested better and I felt more energetic and I felt more awake and just overall really good when I stuck with steaks versus ground beef. So that's when I realized, hey, I think the ground beef is kind of slowing my progress down. So that's when I cut out the ground beef and I stuck to only steaks. And during that week is when I was really eating all of my Costco uh, ribeyes that I cut from the whole rib roast. Remember that video where I took you to Costco to get that 16 pound roast and I showed you how I cut it. So week three, all of week three, I was just eating those ribeyes exclusively right and i actually no simba no have to keep an eye on these boys and i actually didn't crave for butter i didn't crave for extra fats if i was craving for a lot of fat that day i would just make sure to eat a fatty ribeye and i also um cut a bunch of little cubes out of some of the fat caps from that roast so i would just snack on raw beef fat. So week three, I ate only steaks. And by the end of week three is when I started to feel dramatically better and better than I would usually feel these past two years on carnivore. For the first time, I felt like when I woke up, I wanted to get shit done. And excuse my lang language, but I just felt so full of drive, so full of motivation, seriously, so full of ambition and energy. And there wasn't one day after week three where I pushed any task or any chore or anything off. I just did everything I needed to do in that moment. So it was like this complete shift in mindset. For me, the mindset and the mental clarity were the biggest changes and benefits after these 30 days because my mental clarity was so crystal clear, so razor sharp, 
anything that I needed to focus on, I would just give it 150% of my mental focus. It was amazing. And I keep comparing to the movie Limitless because I truly felt like Bradley Cooper in Limitless. I felt like I could tap into and access more of my brain. On week three and after, I felt like I was accessing 100% of my brain because I was getting so much stuff done. I just felt so energetic and my mood was so good. Like I just felt so happy and so positive, so uplifted from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. So from week three to week four is when I started to really move. I would want to go outside, play fetch with the dogs, and I would just walk and run and play fetch. And I would go to the beach with my siblings. Like I just felt so motivated to want to move because I had so much energy that I needed to burn off. And on top of that, I was just getting so much work done because my mental clarity was so sharp and uh, my drive was so high. So it was amazing. It is amazing, you know, and today is the last day of April, April 30th. And oh, I just feel so good. Like in my stories a few days ago, I actually compared it to Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Saiyan. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that moment when he's just like on fire, he's just turned on. <laughs> that's how I feel end of week three to now because you know something about just eating steaks and cooked really rare I'm sure I'm getting so so many nutrients I'm eating the most nutrient dense foods my body is able to digest it perfectly and utilize it for clean pure energy um, and I'm actually burning that energy well by going outside, getting vitamin D, getting work done, feeling good about myself for being so productive. It's like this cycle of good living, you know? Um, and my sleep. Let's talk about my sleep. I always sleep like a baby. Uh, but ever since feeling so good, end of week three to now, I feel like I don't need as much sleep. I feel like seven hours is enough and I can just go about my day feeling super energetic and well rested. So I feel like I don't need to sleep as much. I don't have any temptations or urges to want to sleep in. I'm just so awake when I do open my eyes and I'm so wanting to just start my day already. So that is a huge difference because, you know, my whole life I loved I have loved sleeping in. I just love sleeping. I've never had any issues falling asleep, staying asleep, and sleeping really deeply. And I just love sleep. I can sleep for up to 14 hours if I wanted to. <laughs> but these past two weeks, I want to get out of bed. And I want to jump out of bed and start my day already. So it is a huge difference uh, regarding my sleep and how I feel upon waking up. So I love that. I love that so much. Mood is great. I'm always feeling really good. I never lose my temper. I usually kind of lose my temper when it comes to Simba because he's still a baby. He still has those moments where he goes berserk or he's up to no good or he's doing something mischievous. So these days when he's doing something that usually would cause me to go a little bit irritated. I just know how to collect myself. I know how to center myself immediately and do what is actually right, which is to correct him in that moment um, and to reward him when he does correct his behavior. So I know exactly what to do in moments of stress, in moments of high pressure, in moments of difficulty, and I'm always super calm. So I feel like I'm um, experiencing this carnivore euphoria that everybody raves about, but also combined with the carnivore zen that everybody raves about. And I've never been able to truly feel these two different types of feelings intertwined this closely. I, you know, the past two years, I would either feel super euphoric or I would either feel super zen, but never truly did I feel both at the same time. So this is why in my stories, again, I, I share that I just feel like from day to night, I'm in this um, like mood, this mindset, this space where it's just a juxtaposition of both zen and euphoria. It is truly amazing and it's hard to describe in words because I just feel 
so unbelievably amazing. Let's talk about my skin. Sorry, I have so much to share. Um, and I think the timer is going to go off. So let me quickly cover everything. I do hope that after sharing with you guys my 30 day results, I definitely feel great about how my skin is looking. Let's talk about weight. Again, I don't weigh myself ever. I never obsess over numbers. Um, so I do not know exactly how much I weigh, but I do know that my clothes are fitting a lot looser. So I definitely know my body's changing. I'm sure I lost quite a few pounds. I also see it in my face. It's it's quite a bit slimmer and um, less uh, less cheeks when I smile. <laughs> uh, what else? Let's see what else I can tell you. Oh yes, one big thing is my period. How did I experience my period this month? Now that I'm only eating beef, guys, my period lasted three days. A total of three days. That's pretty impressive, and that has never happened before, um, ever since I got it back. Because um, if you guys don't know my story, I went vegan for six years, and I actually lost my period for two of those years. Two whole years of no period, and then I got it back when I went carnivore, within the first two months of eating carnivore. So that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Um, let me switch hands, because I am getting really tired holding this camera up. So how was my period this month. Firstly, it lasted three days. Secondly, I had zero back pain. I had zero discomfort. I had Okay, so my timer just went off. So let's go quickly check on the short ribs before I continue talking to you about my period. All right, let's open up this and just see how it looks. I'm sure 15 minutes is not enough. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That looks delicious, guys. Mmm, it looks so juicy. Let's look at the bottom one. Oh, wow, that looks gorgeous. All right, well, I'm just going to cook it for a couple more minutes. And then I'm going to do the broil. So like I said, with my period this month, it lasted three days. Oh, and the flow, the amount of blood that came out. I'm just going to be explicit. I'm not going to sugarcoat or use different type of euphemisms. The bleeding was a lot lighter. Like, a lot lighter. Usually my flow would be very heavy the first day only and then second day it would lighten up quite a lot and the rest of the days it would just be very light and usually my period lasts five to six days this month it lasted three days so that's really cool very interesting and i'm gonna definitely be interested to see how my next period uh in may goes if it changes if it stays the same and regarding the the pain and the discomfort zero pain usually i will have some type of discomfort in my lower back this time around literally no symptoms literally no pain no discomfort whatsoever it just felt like i was going about my normal life uh not having any period except just having a light flow for three days i didn't feel anything different my skin didn't break out i didn't get any extra blotchiness or redness like i usually do my mood didn't fluctuate i didn't feel emotional i didn't want to cry my first day i usually will be very emotional and sensitive nothing no changes in my mood my emotional stability um in my mental clarity my sleep was still good my energy throughout that day was great i honestly was shocked at how normal and symptom free my period was this month so this is one of the reasons why i just have to continue in may because firstly i don't want to end these amazing benefits i want to continue feeling great not great because i usually feel great i want to continue feeling phenomenal and i want to continue feeling this carnivore zen meshed with the uh oops meshed uh meshed with the carnivore euphoria it's just so awesome um and yeah and i want to see how my period goes in may just to compare oh and i always get asked am i drinking coffee yes i drink one cup of coffee per day just because i love the taste of black coffee i've never put anything in my coffee ever so i'm not quite yet ready to give up my coffee um also i'm not going to give it up for may maybe in the future maybe down the line but one cup of coffee black per day i don't really see as too much of an issue right now 
But for my magos, I'm going to continue beef only and I'm actually going to continue to cut out the ground beef. So all I'm going to be eating is steaks. Obviously today is an exception because I want to celebrate, but maybe short ribs can be counted as steak. I'm not sure. So definitely stay tuned in my future YouTube videos regarding May's progress. Uh, beef only but with workouts if you want to see what workouts and exercises I am doing do comment down below if you want to join me in working out more and eating beef only or just comment down below what your may goals are I would love to know don't forget to like this video if you enjoy my content and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to continue watching my videos and do not forget to turn on the bell and notifications if you never want to miss any of my future videos all right let's go and check on the short ribs look at that guys oh <gasps> wow so i definitely feel like the beef ribs are fully cooked now i'm just gonna finish off with a quick broil literally just two minutes and this is gonna give it a really nice char all right so i did the uh, broil right there and i started i'm gonna time it for two minutes and then i'm gonna take it out Okay, I just turned off the oven. The broil is complete. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, it is just sizzling and popping and crackling. This is good, guys. I'm going to take these out and just let it cool first. Simba, do you smell what I smell? I just cannot wait to eat with my hands and just gnaw this gorgeous meat off the bone. Okay guys, it's the moment of truth now. I have my first short rib piece. I got a small one so it won't drip. It's already dripping fat. We're gonna do a beef rib smirk and taste test together. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my gosh, wow. I was not expecting this flavor. It tastes like beef jerky, but not jerky. It's just so packed with beefy flavor. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like it was already marinated and seasoned. Marinated. Oh my gosh, and the fat, gorgeous fat. Oh, wow. Mmm. It is so good! Watch me eat both these trays in 10 minutes, guys. All right, I'm gonna eat now. I hope you guys enjoyed all that I shared regarding results this month. Seriously, just feeling so good. And come on, I get to eat beef every single day. I ain't complaining. That flavor is, that's, that flavor, okay. That flavor tastes like it was aged. Maybe it was aged, but my gosh, it has like this blue cheese aftertaste. And it's not too stinky, but it's so packed with flavor. <gasps> and it's so savory. It tastes like there was salt in it, but I know there isn't because I didn't add any salt. It's savory, it's juicy, it's beefy. It's fatty. Okay guys, I'm gonna eat now. I'll see you guys in the next video.